Is it insane to design an entire room around one light fixture? Well, if that's insanity, count me in. That's totally not the same. <laughs> so, there's a terrier panting down there. <laughs> Just over. You're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about our Moroccan light. <laughs> We are excited to announce that we have finally finished the downstairs bedroom, the bedroom on the main floor, and we have made it a Moroccan tent style room. Our, when we bought this house, that house was, in a word, hideous. It had linoleum floors and it was decorated in, in a, a somewhat frightening manner with pretty awful drapes. So we are excited to rip it all out. We had some guys come in and rip out the linoleum floors throughout the main floor and underneath discovered the original 1888 floorboards. So we struck gold with this house and the fact that we have these beautiful original hardwood floors throughout the house. Courtney and I have been really lucky. We've gotten to go to Dubai three times now and it's a beautiful city. It's, it's just vibrant and so culturally and worldly and, and it's just, I've gotten to create there which is such a blessing. But one of the things that we picked up when we were out there were these, a couple of lights. The lights and, and I mean the products in general are beautiful but we were at a souk and we were like, we're gonna buy these two lights, one for each of us because we might use it one day down the road and and we've just had it in our basement forever. Um, and so now that we're you know redoing these rooms here in the Denver short term rental, it's amazing because we get to pull out one of those lights and we've, we've completely formed the entire room and created the entire room around that specific light. We found these really cool stencils on Amazon and we each took one for different sections of the room that we were working on. And then you know we thought we could stencil in a day or two, but it turned out to be much longer than that. So day, after day, after day of stenciling, we finally got through, but the stenciling was intense and it took quite a bit of time. We wanted that Moroccan tent feel, that, that exotic, beautiful, like once in a lifetime experience. And that's something that we really wanted to bring back here in the Denver house is to offer people another magical, you know, spot to be in, to go to bed in, to wake up in, and to just kind of feel like you're in a tent, you know, and, and the camel, and like, you know, you're just in a whole other world that, you know, I think a lot of people would love to have that experience, so I hope that this gives, you know, that experience in some ways, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> After that, we picked a bed, we picked the lamps, I stenciled a little bit more on these really cute side tables that we they had a really cute shape, we bought them in an estate sale, they were ugly as sin, so we painted them white, did some stenciling on the top and I think they came out really cute. And voila, here is our Moroccan tent room. We're really proud of it and we just hope that people feel transported when they come to stay. If you guys have any questions about the room, leave me a comment below and I'm going to do my best to include all of the links to everything in the room, the paint, the stencils, the bed, the lamps, all that good stuff. Thank you!